Despite the numbers, some Maine doctors are now struggling to find personal protective equipment or PPE. And they say the state is failing to help. New Center Maine Zach Blanchard joins us now with more on what this struggle means. Zach? Yeah, Pat and Cindy, months later, it's hard to believe we're talking about this again, but a lot of doctors in private practices and rural parts of the state say they just can't get the equipment they need to protect themselves and their patients. It's a lifeline for Maine's first responders and healthcare workers, personal protective equipment. And that's all we got for N95s. But doctors like Karen Saylor and Alexandra Barr are still struggling to find it. You know, so many of the supplies have been on back order. Resorting to ordering from Amazon because we can't get yeah. stuff from the real medical suppliers. Their private practice in Falmouth provides care for those 65 and older, some of the most vulnerable. You know, we are not the only small practice that is having this problem. More than 200 miles north in Washington County, the same story. It's scary for small places like us who want to take care of our patients. Eastport Healthcare, which also has facilities in Machias and Callis, has limited supplies for its 50 or so employees. CEO Ellen Krajewski says every week, every day, is a challenge. We'll order online and it'll say that it's ordered, but it never really gets sense. I, I don't think it's on, on everyone's radar. We need more PPE. The state has distributed more than 1.8 million pieces of personal protective equipment since the pandemic first hit, but the Maine Medical Association says almost every private physician practice is still waiting for its first mask. There's a little bit of a misconception that the state has this cache of PPE, and that's not the case. Maine Emergency Management Agency, or MEMA, says supplies are currently prioritized for first responders, long-term care facilities, and hospitals. We have tried right from the get-go to get get uh, PPE from the federal government and we, um, we've we never received what we should have received. For doctors like Sailor and Barr, it's about more than protection, it's about principle. Practices that are seeing the most vulnerable patients really should be prioritized. Now, both MEMA and the CDC say even they've struggled to get personal protective equipment from the federal level, and at times, some of it hasn't been of proper quality. Cindy. Zach, what are these direct care providers supposed to do in the meantime? Well, right now, they're supposed to be reaching out to these suppliers, so they're reaching out to them individually, but there's a catch here because in some cases, you have to be an existing customer with the suppliers to get those supplies. So in many cases, some people are signing up as new customers and they're being denied. So definitely, we'll keep a close eye on this one. Guys. All right, Zach, thank you so much.